This is just a photovoltaic charge controller recommendations video. You see lots of stuff recommending these, uh, your typical craptacular Wellsy fake maximum power point charge controller. Problem is, is that these aren't a real maximum power point charge controller. Best case scenario, what it is, is it's a combination uh, potential converter and battery charge controller. And that's only if you put in a bigger, better inductor because the stock inductor in this is air core. Yes, they used an air core power inductor, which is a contradiction in terms since they're completely useless. Um, a better thing would be a, a BZ products like this. This you can get from many places for only about a hundred bucks, which for a real maximum power point charge controller is dirt cheap and they're domestically made and they're fairly reliable and they have a load control and an auxiliary uh, battery charge option which is uh, good and unlike some of the blue sky stuff like their uh, 2512 charge controllers you can use those at the same time so again very good unit and it has a little display although it would be really good if it showed battery potential and your charge control uh, and your charge current uh, simultaneously but then again it's only a hundred bucks this thing of course being fake and another thing is that the recommendations on the box don't make any sense because you can see it says it's good for 12 volts, 24 volts, or 48 volts, or 10 amperes, or 16 amperes. That's just because they have one box for all their different types of charge controllers. And even this, which the 48 volts, by the way, is a completely different thing. Uh, that's that thing that they have on this side of the box. And considering the quality and knowing that 48 volts is within the realm of electrocution, I would not trust that. And even this, it, it says it's uh, dual potential 12 volts, uh, 24 volts. Would not trust that because your peak uh, potential uh, when the, your photovoltaic array is open circuit, if it was a 24 volt array, that can get up to be about 40 odd volts. The um, 7, 8, 1, uh, the 7812 potential regulator that it has to supply the completely crack-brained anti-battery uh, charge current. It's that thing that looked like a relay in my guest video of this. It's actually a 555 oscillator chip inside that custom-made thing. Yes, why they'd need an oscillator to uh, control that and some MOSFETs and why they didn't just put in a uh, shot key rectifier, but then again, I don't do drugs, so probably wouldn't be able to answer that question. That flies at above about 35 volts. That is the absolute maximum electrical potential you can feed to the device. So, these don't get it, piece of crap. And had I known now, I would have bought another one of these instead of that, and I wouldn't have this piece of garbage, because even with the better inver uh, inductor, it's only good for about 1.4% per, uh, uh, current gain. So, don't get these. And then you hear lots of things about maximum power point is the only thing you should get. Problem is, is that with a maximum power point charge controller, either this, the MPPT250, and it's a uh, related one, uh, the MPPT250HV, which can simply take a maximum photovoltaic array input potential of uh, 100 volts instead of this for the 50 volts, or one of each. Uh, these are only good if you have a photovoltaic array that's a few hundred watts, and that your modules are all same make, same model, same everything, so that the maximum power points of each module are about the same. If you're like me, where even though I've got about 640 watts of photovoltaic modules, that's only the case with my five Harbor Freight kits and my three uh, QS Solar 60-watt uh, modules. Everything else, which is about 200 watts, uh, uh, over 200 watts of modules, they're all different, even though they're all 12-volt nominal modules. That's where things like um, pulse width modulation controllers like this come into cheap Chinese EP Solar. Fairly reliable for what it is, 
uh, thing you can get on eBay for about 30 bucks. I imagine somewhere on Amazon because eBay sucks because PayPal are a bunch of idiots. And things like your stock Harbor Freight charge controller, which is okay if you've got a decent sized battery bank. Although with this, you're, it peaks your battery charge potential at about 14.5 volts. And that's all within gassing, so you need to be fairly careful about making sure your batteries are well watered. Unless you've got a epically huge battery bank, like me, half a dozen group 27 uh, batteries. But when I found this out, I only had two, so you want to be careful about these as far as making sure you're on top of um, your battery watering. But then again, that's something you should, you should do uh, regardless of the type of controller you have. But again, these have their place. And especially if you've only got maybe one 80 watt photovoltaic module, maybe 100 watts of photovoltaic modules in total, and they're all different because you buy as you can afford them. Uh, that's where things like these come in because these you can mix and match. Uh, these you can, but the different maximum, po but the substantially different uh, maximum power points of each type of module, especially if you combine different types like. Uh, SIGs, uh, cadmium telluride, uh, with uh, amorphous silicon or uh, crystalline silicon type uh, modules, you can kill the advantage that these things have. So again, these are only for if you have lots of modules and they're the same. Uh, you have lots of modules and they're the uh, all the same manufacturer, make, and ideally even lot number, they're all from the same production run. Uh, these, well this is crap, don't buy that. These are for not, if you have like a under, the general recommendation is about uh, 200 watts of modules, but that's for much bigger ones because that's for much bigger controllers because this is only good for about, oh, 250 watts, the bigger version, which I don't have any of it, is good for 500 watts, but again, maximum, ac ma the, uh, those are the absolute maximum ratings, and each of these, once I put these in service, and I'll do a video on that, because I'm getting a cabinet made, because I don't, w one only real problem with these is that they don't come with a back box, and if you want to buy one, it's 30 bucks, but I've got my neighbor who's, c who's a machinist, and he happened to have a piece of uh, scrap metal around of uh, the proper gauge so he's going to make a a panel box for these so I'll do a video on that when I get it so yeah these have their players and maximum power point charge controllers aren't your perfect epic whatever so yeah these are niche these are more broad spectrum same with the uh, same with pretty much a lot of the stuff the greens are pushing